Welcome back to another Classic Car Studio build video. Today we are featuring John's 1970 Chevy Chevelle convertible. It's powered by an LT4, which has 650 horsepower. It sits on a Roja Shop chassis. It's the Rideline chassis. This killer convertible is gonna have shot wheels, bare brakes all the way around, a killer BASF Glazerit paint, which we're gonna custom mix in our mixing room, and a really, really nice interior. So this thing's getting new floors, new quarters. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of infrastructure parts. A lot of what? A lot of infrastructure parts. A lot of old body, body work. Yeah. Probably get a new firewall where it comes down to the front panel, the floors, and this panel, the whole back panel. Probably every infrastructure part we can buy so they're rotted out. <laughs> ship no more because they've welded all these floors in wrong. So if you look right here at this section and here on your rear body mounts, this is way far forward than this side. So it, it actually needs to go, the, the, the whole body needs to shift like this in the frame, but it won't because it's up against the front uh, frame. The torque box areas are and they won't move because everything's welded in wrong. So how do we fix that? That's the way you got to cut it all apart and start off. We got all this whole new floor pan for the trunk. It's all new. New floor pan for the passenger compartment. And then you got to start building around it. All right, well, it turns out that the Chevelle body was worse than what we thought. Between the rusted out panels and the old bodywork, it's going to be easier and faster just to replace all the problematic panels with new steel from AMD and Dynacorn. And there's a few panels here and there that we'll have to save the original car donor because they just don't make them aftermarket, they said. But there was some available, but there was no timeline on when you might receive it. So had to just go ahead and just grab it by the horns and just make them, you know, They don't make a wide enough wheel tub for this convertible Chevelle, so I'm going to make a pair out of 16 gauge steel, and they have to be shaped and fit to fit the convertible top, not just a round one.
car in the metal shop. The car has been fabbed up once, all mocked together, screwed and held with vice grips. Now I dismantled the whole car and we'll be starting to use the new spot welder and spot weld it back together like the factory would do and MIG weld in certain areas where we have to. Okay, so what we got here is the firewall section and the upper cowl area and the outer cowl panels and the A-pillar, all that's welded in. I just got to weld, I got to spot weld this with a MIG. Most everything else I tried to use the new Saladis spot welder, which worked really good. So some areas you can't get into it, so I have to use regular conventional plug weld. And I got this other piece to put in, this is under the dash. It goes here like so, and your dash, part of your dash frame, there. And that will be pretty much it for the cowl area, then I'll work my way towards the back. I gotta do some spot welding back here, and I'll hang the quarters and start reassembling, and hopefully it goes good. Well, it will. And I gotta weld this piece in. That has to be MIG welded in. The uh, bumper brackets that bolts to the top of the bumper and then the lower ones, I cut three eighths of an inch off to try to get the bumper to come in to where it's more of a straight flush line with the back of the trunk lid. You might have to trim a little bit more off of it to get it to come in a little bit more. Some fine tuning trimming. That was just the initial, initial rough cut. It's getting closer. Yeah. See what I'm bottoming out here on. Gap and adding a little bit to the quarter panel to get a 3 16 gap. Just like the body fender joints and everything will be. And we gotta come back to it. That way the goal is, is to have the uh, Bumpers is gapped the same, same gap as the door gaps and everything else is going to be. 
bitching. See if I cut the brackets to go in closer to the body, the way I got this flush mount, because it did stick out. Oh, the bumpers originally stick out to about right here. Okay, about that distance here. So three eighths of an inch, so I cut the brackets off, moved it in. Well, <clears throat> then if I cut it off more to get this closer, then this is gonna be riding way over the top of the trunk. It's gonna look stupid. That way they're in line. So what I gotta do is just add to the quarter here to compensate the difference. It's a compensating thing. What I'm doing here is making a uh, mock-up for a front splitter. I'll build all with this wire here. It's quarter inch uh, round stock. And then I'll lay some cardboard up there and then see if I like the looks out of it. And then if that's the case, then I'll get it down on the ground, see where it looks. And if that's the case, then I'll go with there for metal and use this as my pattern to make my metal uh, chin spoiler out of. So we'll see how it goes towards the end of the day. Fixed in the back of the hood to eliminate the, the, the body molding on it and then smoothing it out to where it's all, don't have the uh, pinch weld showing on it. That's what I'm doing on that and I'm doing it on the top of the fenders as well.
and now all the metal is finished and doing all the sanding, it's gonna go to Dan for a coat of epoxy and then we'll start doing the body work on the car. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more build videos like this, help us out by liking, commenting, and subscribing to our channel. And it's a little thing to do, but don't forget to turn on those notifications. If you want to buy merch, go to store.classiccarstudio.com. See you next time.